Hi, welcome to another Weka tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use cost sensitive learning using Weka. Cost sensitive learning is a very useful technique whenever your data set is imbalanced. Let me give you an example of imbalanced data set. Say you have 1000 instances and out of these 1000 instances, only 10 belong to positive class and 990 belong to negative class so say you have just two classes positive and negative so in this case you are having uh, negative skewness in your data set your data set is said to be highly negatively skewed so in scenarios like these evaluation measures like accuracy or precision recall and f-score they sometimes don't reflect the accurate results of classification by your classifier so machine learning people have invented a technique called cost sensitive learning that whenever a classifier is learning you're going to say that okay I'm going to punish you for making false positives or false negatives by default this punishment is set to one which is uh, saying that okay I'm not going to punish you for making false positive and false negative just work uh, what, with whatever you have learned from the data so uh, cost sensitive learning is a very very well defined procedure uh, in machine learning and you can apply that for class imbalance problems you know, or for data sets that are having class imbalance problems rather. So this is how you do it in Weka. To do that we go to Explorer and in the Explorer we are going to load a data set. For this particular experiment I'm choosing the data set called diabetes.rf and you can find it in the Weka installation directory under uh, data directory so we select diabetes.rf so when it is selected we go to classify tab and uh, for simplicity's sake we're just selecting naive based classifier and we are just starting the classification so now you can see on the right hand side in the confusion matrix that we have uh, two classes a is tested negative and b is tested positive and this confusion in this confusion matrix you can see that uh, instances that are uh, belonging to a class and classified as a are 422 instances belong to a class but classified as b are 78 instances belong to a uh, sorry instances belong to b class and identified as b 164 and instances uh, uh, that are that belong to b class but identified as a are 104 so in a nutshell we can say from the perspective of a class or tested negative class of diabetes.r file the true positive is 422 true negative is 164 and false negative is 78 and false positive is 104 we can also see it as a cost sensitive learning with weight set to 1.0 to false positive and false negative. So this is your default classifier with uh, weight set to 1.0 to false positive and false negative. You're not going to punish your classifier for generating false positives and false negatives. But in cost sensitive learning, you're just you can just tell the classifier that I'm going to punish you if you make false positive and false negative. And how much are you going to punish? Then uh, comes the notion of weight and we are just going to see how you can put weight in a few seconds. So this time we are interested to choose a classifier which is called uh, cost sensitive classifier. You can find it in the meta classifier options in the classifier options of Weka. We go to the properties of the cost sensitive classifier. You can see that, that we, have a, we have an option for classifier we're going to choose naive base as our classifier because we are interested to experiment with naive base. Now we can also see that we have an option called cost matrix and by default the matrix dimension is set to one by one. So we click on that and you can see that only 0, 0.0 is set to there, set there because we our dimension of the matrix is set to one by one. But here you can also see that the default number of classes is set to 1. But in our data set we have seen that we have tested negative and tested positive two classes. So we are going to change and we are set that we're going to set that to 2. 
So as we set that and click resize, then you can see that the matrix size has changed, the dimensions have changed. So the top left corner is the true positive, top right corner is the false negative, lower left is false positive and lower right is true negative. And you can see that the false positive and false negative uh, cells of these matrix, they are set to 1. So that's the default, I, as I said, that the weight is set to default uh, 1.0 for false positive and false negative for any kind of classifier. So that's kind of cost sensitive classification with weight equal to 1.0. So this time we are going to be happy with this setup. And we are going to uh, cross this window and click OK to the next window and we start classification. Now from this confusion matrix you can see that the number of false positives and false negatives they have changed. They have not changed, sorry. They have not changed. So this is what we have got in our confusion matrix for by using cost sensitive meta classifier using naive base as the best classifier and this is the naive base itself so the results are the same so now we go back to our cost sensitive classifier options and in the cost matrix now we are going to change the weights now we are going to click on double click on the upper right corner and we are setting that to two that in this way we are saying that okay i'm going to punish you double if you are making false negatives and then we press tab it's set to 2.0 we cross it we click ok we come back and start classification but this time you can see strangely we are having a uh, less number of false positive it's it's now down to 46 but our false positives have in, increased and that's the catch of cost sensitive learning you have to decide by yourself that if you are saying that i'm going to punish for making false negatives then false negatives are going to decrease by your classifier in some, some in some uh, method but also the catch is that your false positives may increase so again let's make an another make another experiment we go to cost matrix this time we are going to readjust the false negative weight to 1.0 the default but we are changing the false positive weight to 2 in the similar fashion we have done it before we cross it we click ok we come back and press start but this time again you can see that strangely we are having less number of false positives but our false negatives have increased because we have put weight equal we have set weight equal to 2.0 for making false positives by our classifier so our classifier is really afraid to make false positives that's why it was learning very well how to deal with false positives so it decreased the number of false positives now it is down to 82 but also the number of false negatives have increased and it is now 115 and if you can remember from precision recall and f score formulas false positives they are related to precision and false negatives they are related to recall so if you put a higher weight for false negatives then you are going to have better recall your fn or false negatives are going to be decreased and also similarly if you put higher weight for false positives then your precision uh, is going to be improved because you're now having less number of false positives but your f score uh, i cannot I cannot uh, remark on that. You have to do it experimentally. But this is how cost sensitive learning is done in Weka. It's, it's a very simple step to follow. And it is very well known method to fight or deal with class imbalance problem in your data set. If you are benefited from these tutorials in my channel, please subscribe to get more uh, updates on the videos upcoming. And if you have liked this tutorial, press like and if you if you understand every concept of it and please share with your friends so that they can understand the concepts of cost sensitive learning as well and this is how this channel is going through all the odds thank you very much for watching and listening i i'm hoping to come back with more tutorials on weka and other technologies stay tuned thank you very much